Hello everyone, myself Mr. Saurabh Sramanshi, Assistant Professor from Department of IT and Data Science of DDSS College of Commerce, Autonomous, going to present the concept of Artificial Intelligence. So, let us start. Artificial Intelligence, the term has been coined by John McCarthy in 1956. The term AI can be defined as the science and engineering of making intelligent machines. So, why to use AI? Why the AI is so important? By using AI, we want the machine should able to make some decisions. The machine should able to choose the next action based on the past experiences. AI system should work like a human brain. The machine should have the thinking capabilities. So, with this, we can say that AI is the study of how to make machines do things which at a time the human being is doing in a better way. Now, we will discuss about the categories of AI. So, basically, there are three broad categories. First, artificial narrow intelligence or we can say weak AI. Weak AI is not a general purpose intelligence. In this category, the intelligent agent is built to solve a particular problem or it can perform a specific task in a better way. For example, the agent designed to play the chess game can only play the chess. It will not perform any other task in an effective way. Second, we have artificial general intelligence or strong AI, which can perform various tasks which currently the human being is doing in a better way. The task of developing such system is quite difficult. And the last category is artificial super intelligence. The intelligence may range from little smarter to some trillion times smarter than human brain. Now, let us discuss about the components of AI. Basically, there are six components of AI. First is perception. Perception means taking inputs from the environment. This can be done using sensors. First, the agent will scan the environment and take the input from the environment. Next is knowledge representation. The perceived information has to be presented in some standard format. So there are various representation techniques like first order logic and propositional logic. The next component is learning. The best way of learning is trial and error, which is a part of unsupervised learning. There are various other types of learning like supervised learning, unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning, etc. Next, we have reasoning. There are two types of reasoning, deductive and inductive. In deductive reasoning, the truth of premises guarantees the truth of conclusion, while in case of inductive reasoning, the truth of premises supports the conclusion, but it cannot be fully dependent on premises. Next, we have problem solving. We can have two different types of solving methods. First, general purpose and next is special purpose. General purpose methods are applicable to wide range of problems while special purpose methods are applicable to solve only particular type of problem. And the last category is natural language processing. Machines or we can say agent should understand the human language. It should provide the output in a verbal format. So for this, the agent should have the capability of NLP. In next lecture, we will discuss about the agent and the architecture of agents. Thank you.